Hi everyone. How how are you doing? It's been a while since I made this video, and uh, maybe I should come up with a a greeting that I always say on the video. But anyways, uh, today I wanted to talk about my thoughts on uh, the difference between the rich and the poor, because it's uh, I think a controversial subject. Maybe some people always get uh, really agitated and upset when they talk about it so from my experience from what i've heard other people say is that well the the most common saying is that they would rather be poor and uh have family than rich and don't have anyone right of course anyone would choose that but the only thing is that uh poor people are also lonely you know that they don't have anyone I've seen a lot of poor people who don't have a single person that they can go talk to a lot of them are depressed a lot of people commit suicides and most of them were poor so you know that saying doesn't really make any sense because according to it if you're poor you're supposed to have family but they didn't and of course, I've seen many rich people too who have family, and they're they are really they have a really tight family group. They're always in touch with each other. You know, since they have money, they can travel and visit each other. That's that's a positive thing about having money. You can spend time around with people you like. And um, well, that that's one difference. Another difference that I've noticed is that many say that poor people and rich people are the same but in reality they are not for example you have a uh, poor people well poor people are not really poor in wealth well they are but it's mostly in their mentality in the way they think because I've seen many people who think they are entitled to uh, I don't know, to having money, to being successful in life, in the future, to whatever it is that they want. They think it's just going to be handed to them and all they do is wait. And that all they have to do is wait. But it doesn't work like that. I mean, you will have to wait and train in whatever it is that you want to do. But if you're just waiting, that's time wasted waiting is time wasted unless you're doing something such as uh if you want to be an actress or an actor <clears throat> then you have to practice your acting skills and wait that's not a waste of time but if you want to be an actor and you're just waiting without practicing then that is a huge waste of time that will probably ruin your life if you're just waiting without doing anything also, uh, one thing I've noticed, and that uh, I heard this from uh, uh, Ty Lopez, I don't know if anyone listens to him, but he's always saying that that uh, whenever he talks to poor people, poor in mentality, of course, uh, that they never they never ask any questions. They feel like they know everything already, and they never ask anything. They're always just talking about themselves when in a conversation the uh, optimal outcome should be where you go in and you go out of that conversation knowing more than what you did before and the only way to do that is if you ask questions to the other person if you get the other person talking about maybe themselves and experience they had so that way you learn more about life you know they can tell you about an accident they have so you then you can you uh, you know how to avoid making that same accident but but not not many people do that I th maybe it's a pride issue they don't like admitting that other people know more than them that other people are better than them stronger faster more intelligent more quick with it Whatever, whatever, whatever it is, then uh, I think it's a pride issue. 
I, I don't think there's anything wrong with admitting someone is better than you. I mean, you're not the best person out there. I'm not. So I don't have a problem saying someone else is a better overall person than you, you know? They're better in every aspect of your lives. That's why they're more successful. And I'm still here. Yeah, I, I live in a house with my parents. So not very successful. It's not bad, but I wish I had more. Everyone wishes they had more. And I think that's a good thing. That's what moves you and motivates you to keep going. I would never, uh, I never wanna like, uh, how do you say that? To resign, resign and be happy with whatever it is that you have. I mean, if you already have a lot, then keep trying to get more. If that makes you happy, don't listen to other people. You know, I've heard many people say that you shouldn't care what others think, but throughout my life, I've always been competitive, but other people, you know, especially my parents, always told me not to be so competitive, that that was a bad thing. And uh, also I stopped being so competitive and Honestly, that didn't make me so happy. I like being competitive. And if so, now now that I am, some people don't like it either, but I mean, that makes me happy. So why should I care what they think? If they have a good point, if they have something good to say, I would listen to them. And if I agree with it, I'll take it and I'll start doing it. But if I don't, then why should I care? You know, just let them talk and take take notice of that. You know, make a mental note that not everyone wants to listen to what you have to say. It's sad, yeah, but it's the truth. And I only know that because sometimes I talk to other people and they don't care what I have to say. So I'm guessing that happens to other people too, you know. I bet you've been in a situation where you're talking to someone and you feel like they don't care what you're saying. So most likely they really don't care what you're saying to them. So my best advice would be to just go find someone else who cares what you have to say, who interacts in the conversation with you rather than being stuck with someone who never listens to you. I think that's better. And, uh, well, that's all I wanted to share for today. All right, well, and uh, please always just comment and subscribe. Uh, say what you liked about the video. If you want me to talk about new things or new subjects, please let me know. And I'll see you soon. Bye.